Welcome back to Red Bull Formation here in Virgin, Utah. The riders and crews have been digging non-stop the last few days. We've made it to the final dig day though and lines are really starting to take shape, but trust me, there's a lot more work to do. Some lines are nearly rideable, so we're gonna do our best to try to catch some of those first hits as the athletes finally pick up their bikes. So join us here, we're gonna check out how insane this venue is. blisters <laughs> i was wearing gloves too all right we're here with chelsea kimball up on the mountain and she's taken off another huge bite of this hillside currently working on a huge step down here with her digger cj and chelsea can you just tell us a little bit about your line but especially this feature um this particular feature is uh i figured is a good way to get off that level i'm doing a steep roller drop um, that someone built back in 14. But yeah, we're just packing it in to head towards the step down to step up over there. Sick. And just for to put it in context a bit, we're on kind of the lower third of the mountain, I suppose. You lose so much yeah. elevation at the top to get to here. And then how do you how are you hoping to feel when you get to this point? Um, I'm going to be a, like the most relieved after I do the steep drop. And then here, I'll, I'm hoping to do a suey off of it. So hopefully, it'll be good. Oh, I just got chills. So we are on day two of digging right now. The wind has been pretty aggressive, pretty relentless, but your team is making a lot, a lot of work. You see the end is near, maybe? Yeah, the end is near. Like we'll do this today, and then hopefully work on the landing of the drop over there tomorrow. Make it a little less of a head slapper. And uh, then probably work on stuff above. I like it. Well, thanks, girl, for your time, and we won't hold you up any longer. Sweet. Yeah. This has taken quite a long time. I really oh, was like, surprised that the planning took all day, but sure enough, know. it's five o'clock, and here we are, still packing. Still packing, but you know what? It'll be so worth it. We're gonna have a nice, pretty landing. That's gonna look so delicious. We packed this, this mofo. Oh, my arms hurt so bad. <laughs> third time here at Formation. So she knows the drill, she stops for no one. She's watering and multitasking, but tell us a little bit about your line because we're at the top of the mountain now. We're pretty much at the top, yeah. Um, we're, we got a slow roll in drop, big bench cut to hold us up and then it kind of just starts to be airtime, high speed. Yeah, working with my friends here. Speed is my friend, so. You got a couple other friends here helping you. Yes, thank today. God. Local lords, Ryan and Dakota. We got Brooke hauling some waters and Claire over here as well. Takes a, takes a village for sure. Heck yes. Yeah. What inspired this line for you? Because last time you were here in 2019, uh, I don't think you ventured onto this side of the mountain. Yeah, correct. We were on the other side. Um, I actually spent like a month here in Utah uh, in February. And literally those guys were riding a jump floor down this ridge. It's a big left-hand hip. And I remember looking at it being like, this is so cool. Very like out of my out of my spectrum, but I was like, that would be cool. All right, Cammy, it's been a warm, hot, dusty couple of days. Life in the desert's hard, eh? How's that popsicle? Oh, amazing. Best thing of the day, this popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> we're standing under one of, I think, the most impressive features on this whole hillside. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell us a little bit about this line. It's the full line because go all the way straight. And it's starting up there, like in the hole. And basically it's going all the way straight into this double drop. You got to hit this feature already. Yeah. Yes, I already Just had this, this one. the yeah. low part. 
Yes, today we rebuilt this part because the deer here was super soft. Mm -hmm. So we rebuilt this and now it's like more compacted. And we built this jump here. This is new, this one. And Tobo is there helping with the next uh, session of jumps. There are two more jumps there. And then we're gonna go into the left to a uh, big step down. Yeah, so everything's looking good. We need to go up there again to put more water. So a lot of progress, I'm stoked. Definitely, you guys have made a lot of progress. And I guess, do you just call it the fall line? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's the fall line. <laughs> Sam have made it to the bottom of the mountain. We're on the final dig day here. What are y'all cooking up? Because this looks brand new. Yeah, so we're cooking up. There was a, there's an old landing behind us that we've kind of chopped away. There's a hip onto it before, but we thought it looked pretty good for a trick jump. So we're kind of just building a lip at the moment. Hopefully soon it'll be nice and steep and it will send you all the way over that and then into a little step down and then there's the last tiny step up at the end. So, nice. And then this little number here, so it looks like you guys are riding kind of left side and then doing a little drop into this section. Yeah, so um, since our line kind of tra comes, it traverses down the hill and ends up on the road, mm -hmm. we won't have speed for that big one. Right. But we've built a little lip that like kind of hips down into the same landing as Via's big drop. And then hopefully you'll get perfect speed into this one. Looking forward to testing it. Sick. What's your, what's your most exciting feature that you've worked on this week so far? Um, we spent a lot of time up on, in the drop-in of our line, and that definitely took the longest. So if it works, it'll be the most rewarding for sure. I'm looking forward to it. But the whole line, honestly, there's so much cool stuff on it. I'm just hyped to like session and see how it goes. Sick. Well, thanks, girl. We'll let you get back to it. Yeah, big up. Yee. See you in a bit. We finally caught up with Vinny here. She has been building a massive step down up there on the mountain. So run us through your line. This is your third time here at Formation. Yeah, so um, we, I'm going to definitely go off the top this year. I didn't quite go off the top last year, so I'm going to make it through the top. And then you go off of like scissor rock drop and then down into like this U. And then, um, so I think we're calling it Diagon Alley because it's like on a diagonal and like looks like it's through an alleyway. So you kind of drop in there into like a nice big catch boom. And then I'm going down like a really raw chute. So we're not doing much work to it. It's just like real nice and raw. And then traversing across a little bit and then doing like a little double drop. And then into like this real big step down into like a nice big floaty hip. And then down through like this little B crack up here. Traversing around across and doing um, some like cool little hip back onto this big step down landing and is, we've left like a big rock that sticks out so if I feel comfy enough then I can like nose bonk into the landing and then um, straight down to this nice rhythm section here. Yeah my process this year was like go up and like find a line that matches my style and like something that I, can, I know I can get comfy on and just like I'd want to keep lapping it instead of being terrified and just doing my two laps and being like I'm done I want to yeah I want to like push up and like lap my line and session it or it could be fun. Hell yeah. Are you sharing any of this exciting stuff here with the other girls or are you kind of pioneering your own? Um, most of this line is just me. Um, it's just the top bit and like the little entrance shoot. Uh, I'm sharing it with like Louise and a bunch of the other girls. Um, but all the rest of it is yeah, just me down this ridge. Dope. And where do we need to line up to get like the fattest whip of the day? Where's, mm. where's that going to be? Yeah, maybe on this big like hip transfer. Might try to do like an oppo like big Ooh. like transfer whip. See? Yeah. So when you come up to Whistler, you're going to teach me how to whip? Yeah, sure. Are you going to let me sleep on your couch? Definitely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whip for a bed. <laughs> okay, we have finally caught up with Casey Brown, free ride legend. She and her digger Lucy have been living at the top of the mountain the past three days, but you're making freaking progress. Tell us a bit about this line. Well, this is actually Brett's old line from 2015, and we are resurrecting it because it's nice to have a bit of insight on what needs to be done and how all the speeds work and everything like that. So feeling pretty lucky to have that. Heck yeah. That's a bit of insight. What sort of feedback did Brett give you to go into this and make it your own? Uh, I think it was 
just like reincarnating it, basically like changing up some old sandbags that were out in the rolling. Um, and then we kind of modified it so the landing of the very top rolling drop is a little friendlier. Uh, it's a pretty sniper drop. It's very sniper. You have to land in the sweet spot because there's so many rocks and stuff around you. And yeah, that's the crux moment for us. Hannah and I are doing it, so. Uh, so yeah. these girls only get 50 sandbags, I've learned individually and literally all of them went to the landing of that first drop in hey yeah yeah we we definitely used all our sandbags up high on the mountain and that's why we're here digging this landing by hand like built a little rock wall at the bottom but we have a metric ton of dirt maybe like 50 metric tons of dirt to move. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a bit of tweaking and stuff as we tick things off. Maybe things won't line up as perfectly as we'd hoped. So we're just, hopefully we'll have our diggers around to modify things as needed. All right, we finally have caught up with the elusive HB, Hannah Bergman. She and her buddy Dan have been pretty much living on the mountain these days. How's it going? It's going well, yeah. We've been pretty much spending all of our time up top uh, working on the intro feature. Um, now we finally made it down to the bottom <laughs> and hoping to just wrap up the bottom of the line. Heck yeah. How has the digging been going so far? Cause you're kind of, you're helping out with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, I've, Casey and I have been sharing a line. So we've been mostly working up at the top, trying to get that part dialed in. And then we're working with some other folks as well. So they've been working down lower and kind of just collaborating to make sure we can get everything done on time. Heck yeah. What would you say is your most exciting feature on the mountain? Definitely the, the intro feature, which is like a super steep, like diving board drop into a super steep landing. And it's really exposed up there at the top. So it kind of rolls right off the ridge and then it goes into a sharp right hand catch broom. It's going to be real exciting. It's definitely like the gnarliest, it's going to be the, one of the gnarlier features I've ridden here. It's been the most intense like build process that I've taken on here. So I'm really excited to get it done. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. You love a good challenge. <laughs> yeah. You love the gnarly, the raw. Definitely. I'm super stoked to see it. Any other lines that you're particularly excited about? Maybe all you're gonna session them. I would love to ride all of the lines. They look incredible this year. Dope. Well, we're super stoked to see you guys get some of those first hits on course. Mm -hmm. And yeah, make it through a super safe, fun weekend. Yeah, should be really good. Thanks, girl. Yeah. Ooh. All right, we are done and dusted here on day three at Red Bull Formation. All the folks up on the hill are making their way down and it has been a long couple of days digging. Super dry, quite warm out here, but we lucked out. We got a couple of first hits out on the course as the riders were testing speed, adapting their features. So stay tuned because we've got a lot more riding coming over the next couple of days and some highlights for you too.